Hey guys, recently we saw a folding smartphone which was very innovative in itself. But there was one thing that stood out the most. I am talking about Mi Mix Fold. This smartphone featured liquid lens technology which is new in smartphone industry. Though liquid lens tech is in use for a while in other industrial fields and it has very interesting applications. But Mi Mix Fold is the first smartphone that introduced this liquid lens tech in smartphone market. Now previously there were reports that Huawei is also working on this liquid lens tech but we never saw any device from Huawei that used this liquid lens technology. So what is this liquid lens technology and how does it work? Is it any good? Let's figure out in today's video. So a lens basically focuses light to form an image. This lens also decides how much area will be covered by a camera in an image. And that's why in DSLRs we use different lenses. The camera or the DSLR is constant with an image sensor but we use different lenses for wide angle shots or zoom shots or portrait shots. Same thing happens in smartphone cameras as well. They also use a constant image sensor and lenses. But unlike the DSLRs, you can't change lenses in smartphone cameras. So as a result of that, you have one sensor dedicated only to a specific type of photography. And if you want different types of photos, you have to use more than one camera. So that's why smartphones usually feature multiple cameras. But more cameras means more space occupation and smartphone is a compact device. There are so many components fitted in a very small space. So if you can somehow make more space in given device, you can use that extra space to accommodate bigger battery or you can use it for better heat dissipation. Or maybe if you have enough space, you can fit a 3.5mm headphone jack in there. And liquid lens can exactly do that. It can give you functionality to take wide angle shots or macro shots or zoom shots using the same sensor without using multiple lenses and multiple cameras. Now a liquid lens consists of an optical grade liquid material which basically is a mixture of oil and water. It is contained in a sealed cell. When a current or voltage is applied to a liquid lens cell, the shape of the cell changes. This change occurs within milliseconds. Feels like magic. Changing its shapes enables the same lens to function as different types of a traditional lens such as wide angle for capturing more data and telephoto for zooming into shots at a distance. So different manufacturers use different methods to control the shape of the optical material. These processes are slightly different which include electro weighting, current driven polymer or sound piezoelectric. Now another benefit of using a liquid lens is that it improves image stabilization. You also get faster focusing speed so it improves autofocus capabilities and as a result you get sharper images. As a liquid lens gives your smartphone versatile camera experience, it results in less number of cameras and more space. But as a result of that, you only use a single high resolution sensor for taking different types of shots. So be it macro shot or zoom or wide angle shot, it is a very sharp and detailed image. So you don't have to use lower resolution sensors for those additional shots. So that's also very interesting. So if a liquid lens provides so much benefits, why don't all smartphones feature this liquid lens technology? The answer is very simple. Though very beneficial, it's very complex to implement. It's also a bit costlier than regular solutions and it also has its own flaws. As it uses water and oil, there's an issue of scattering of light. I hope that in future, more smartphone brands implement this tech as it's very promising. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter at TechXTRJ. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.